I've benchmarked 10 different operating systems on VPS, so let's see which has the best performance. First, we will take a look at PHP Bench. Yeah, CentOS 7 is not that great. Redis Benchmark, very popular in memory database that is used by majority of websites nowadays, especially ones with WordPress. We also see huge difference here, not that big as with PHP Bench, but still almost 60% difference between Ubuntu 22.04 and CentOS 7. Now let's take a look at compression. I've chosen ZSTD because it's one of the best when it comes to transferring files, backups, as it combines great compression ratio with good performance. Ubuntu 22 is almost 40% faster than CentOS 7. Now Geekbench. This benchmark performs image manipulation, encrypting, PDF rendering, machine learning, speech recognition and a lot more. This is a nice indication of overall average performance, and we don't see such huge differences because it tests so much and edge cases are averaged into one value. Let's go to more specific tests. 1080p video encoding. Here we see first win for Fedora. We also see or cannot see result for CentOS 7. Sadly, I had major problems with it in this benchmark. It crashed all the time because of this ancient kernel and ancient compiler. And we will go back to this topic later in this video. WebP image processing. This is very important for web hosting, especially if you want to host like 20, 100 websites on one server. Because not only encoding all images to WebP will be faster, but also it will decrease the overall CPU usage because it will be done quicker. You can also do something different. Not many people know this, but WebP allows you to set more demanding compression methods, which will even further decrease size of images without compromising quality. This can lead to a nice small boost in CEO and slightly decrease your bills if you have CDN where you pay for every gigabyte transferred, so this benchmark is very important, because if your server can encode fast enough, then you have free benefits with zero costs. Now open SSL test. We can see that in pure encryption there is no big difference between different operating systems. It is because encrypting is very demanding on CPU and utilizes highly optimized CPU instructions that are made just for it. So basically optimizations from operating system will do nothing. Now bonus for people that are watching so far. RAM usage on idle after I updated all packages and installed all necessary tools. Also let's see another graph. Average performance in all tests. So what we have learned? Operating system choice matters. Matters a lot. In one case the difference can be just 2%, but in others it can be 40% or even 400%. But also that raises another question. Why CentOS 7 was that bad in some benchmarks? And why Ubuntu 22.04 and Fedora are the fastest ones? Let's replace every operating system name with their Linux kernel versions. Now we kinda see the pattern. Newell equals better. I've done all benchmarks on Hetzner with instances that had two cores based on AMD Epic and 2GB of RAM. The AMD Epic that Hetzner uses for their cloud VPS is second generation Epic, but recently AMD introduced fourth generation Epic. Kernel used in CentOS 7 was made when nobody even thought about Epic, fourth generation, third generation, second generation or even first generation. In simple terms, it just doesn't understand how to work with 
any modern CPU. And the compiler that is used in old operating system also doesn't have any idea how to optimize code for new CPUs. If we saw big difference between operating systems, it means that it was heavily dependent on optimizations from operating system. If we didn't saw big difference, that means that limitation is CPU itself or a RAM speed and operating system cannot do much in that case. That also means that in a real world usage, where we don't stress just one piece of hardware but use everything, use interpreted languages such as PHP, JavaScript that are heavily dependent on optimizations from kernel or compiler, differences are big, whereas with more synthetic benchmarks that are just pushing a couple of specific instructions to processor, differences won't be that big. I need to say that I was heavily surprised with PHP results. I didn't know that the difference can be that big, and that made me curious. What about the dedicated server? I will test it, so subscribe and what about more operating systems? Do you have any suggestions? Maybe FreeBSD, maybe Alpine Linux or Windows? Yeah, maybe it has some advantage, who knows? That's all for today, have a nice day!